What's up? DevSage here, and in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about the visitor design pattern. The visitor pattern allows you to add or provide new operations and methods to an object without actually changing that object itself. The new functionality and logic is kept in a separate object known as the visitor object. Visitor objects are useful when it comes to extending some library or framework the object you want to extend also known as the receiving object must have some kind of accept method that takes in a visitor object and provides the visitor object access to the different information and properties for that object the visitor pattern is actually not very popular in javascript so you probably won't be using it a whole lot, but it's still pretty cool to know about. So let's go ahead and jump to the code. So for this example, we're going to be creating an employee class. The employee will have a name and a salary, and we're going to need to be able to get and set the salary. So we're going to have a get salary and a set salary method. And after we get all that working, we're going to extend the functionality of our employee class using the visitor pattern. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's create our function employee. And employees are going to have names and salaries. So we're going to set this.name equals name and this.salary equals salary. Okay. We have our properties. Now we need to have uh, create our methods. So we're going to go down here and say employee.prototype. And we're going to have our get salary method. And this is just going to return this.salary. Okay. Now we need our set salary method. So we're going to say set salary function. We're going to take in a salary. We're going to name it sal. And we're going to say this dot salary equals sal. Okay. And we also need one more method. Um, the accept method that takes in a visitor function and gives the visitor function access to this employee object so that it can manipulate and access its properties. So let's create that. So let's say accept function. And this is going to be a visitor function. And we're just going to say, we're just going to call this visitor function passing in this, which is a reference to this employee. All right, we are done with our employee class. So we're going to go down here. We're going to just create like a separator here. Um, so let's uh let's create a new employee so let's say const dev sage let's say dev sage equals new um employee dev sage for the name and let's say my salary is i don't know ten thousand let's say i make ten thousand dollars okay so let's print out my salary so let's say console log uh, devsage dot get salary. All right, ten thousand. Okay, cool. So let's try to extend the functionality of our employee class. Let's try to modify it a little bit. So let's create our visitor function, and our visitor function is going to actually give me a raise. So we're going to modify our salary to return twice my current salary. So let's create that function. So let's say function extra salary. And we're going to take in an employee. And we're going to say emp employee dot set salary emp dot get salary times two. So extra salary is our visitor function. 
it's going to take in an employee and it's going to call the set salary method on this employee setting my salary to be twice my current salary okay cool but how is this actually going to work I can't actually we're not going to change our employee class how is my visitor function going to know anything about my employee so we're going to use that accept method we made earlier so we're going to say dev sage dot accept and we're going to pass in extra salary we're not going to call it we're just going to pass in the name extra salary and let's try printing out my salary again so dev sage dot get salary and look at that 10,000 and 20,000 our 10,000 comes from our first call to get salary right after we create our employee and our 20,000 comes from our second get salary call after we extended the functionality modified it slightly so that it behaves differently and we didn't even have to touch our employee so how does that work so right here on line 30 devsage.accept we call accept passing in extra salary our visitor function so we go up here to accept and we just call our visitor function passing in this which is a reference to the current employee so our visitor function extra salary now has information and access to our employee because it's being passed in as an argument so now that's the reason this works when we call employee dot set salary we can change our salary now because we have access to that employee object and that is the visitor pattern it's a pretty neat pattern you don't hear about it a lot and like I said it's not widely used in JavaScript but it is something that's kind of cool. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section. Uh, subscribe if you want more content. And yeah, peace.